A couple months ago, FSL released version 5.0.10, which includes a new fMRI viewer called FSLize or Fossilize. This viewer supersedes FSL view, and it includes several new features to make looking at your fMRI images easier and to help you get closer to your data. So if you're ready, let's get started. You can open up FSLize by typing FSLize at the command line. For this demonstration, we'll be looking at data that's been output into a feed directory. Load an image by clicking File, Add Overlay from File, and load the file filteredfunk.nii.gz. There are two toolbars at the top of Fossilize. The top one is the View toolbar, and the bottom one is the Display toolbar. The buttons in the View toolbar control what the data look like. For example, its opacity, its brightness, and its contrast. You can also change the color scale of the image. The gear icon shows you additional options, such as whether to apply interpolation to smooth the image. To see the dimension, transform, and orientation information, click on the Information button. For example, you can see the number of voxels in the X, Y, and Z directions, as well as the number of volumes and voxel resolution. The Display toolbar controls how the image is displayed. For example, you can change the layout and add or remove canvases. You can also take a snapshot of what is displayed in the viewer. You can zoom with the slider or click and drag the right mouse button to zoom in on a certain region. If you want to restore the zoom to its original setting, press the magnifying glass button. You can also flip through volumes by clicking on the rocker button next to the volume box, or enter a volume number. You can automate this with movie mode, which displays consecutive volumes at a constant rate. This can be useful for detecting motion artifacts. To change the rate of movie mode and to see other display options, press the spanner button. You can then increase or decrease the movie update rate by moving this slider. We'll look at one more viewing option called the Lightbox view. Click on View and then Lightbox. This view shows slices in the sagittal, coronal, or axial dimensions. By default, all the slices are displayed. You can change the slice spacing if you wish. Click on the X in the upper right corner to remove the Lightbox window. In the next video, we'll see how to look at multiple images at the same time, as well as how to view the time series data. See you soon.